All right, so we're going to try a couple of real-world or maybe semi-real-world absolute value inequalities. i just give you an idea of the kinds of situations um, which could be modeled or the kinds of questions which could be answered by absolute value inequality type problems. So um, one here, the velocity of a failed rocket can be modeled with the function velocity at the time t is equal to negative 20 times t. Uh, times the time that has elapsed plus 140, where t means time in seconds and velocity is measured in meters per second. Okay, so it's a fa it's a failed rocket, right? So it's gonna it's gonna launch, it's gonna go up for a while, it's gonna oh something's gonna happen, it's gonna slow down, it's gonna stop, and then it's gonna start careening towards the Earth, right? Um, so the question is, what point at what points in time is the magnitude of the velocity greater than 100 meters per second? So velocity is a vector, which means um, it has magnitude and direction. So um, if we say, let's say, uh, let's say we're going 10 meters per second that way. Uh, let's call that the positive direction. Well, going 10 meters per second this way um, has the same magnitude. Uh, but the the velocity is different. This is negative 10 meters per second. It's it's going in the opposite direction. So um, for our rocket, let's say this is a little launch pad here. Uh, we want to know when it's going this way at a velocity greater than 100 meters per second, or if it's going back this way at um, a velocity of um, the magnitude of the velocity being greater than 100 meters per second. In other words. If it's going negative 100 meters per second, or actually anything greater than that, um, or more. So negative 100 meters per second, negative 200 meters per second, negative 150 meters per second, all those would count um, for this condition, right? Um, so it's going to kind of you know go up and come back down. And we want to know um, at what points of time is it either going um, 100 meters per second or greater, I should say, um, just greater, yeah. So anything greater than 100 meters per second this way, so 101 meters per second, 102, 200, 300, uh, whatever. And then anything that's actually less than negative 100 meters per second going this way, right? So negative 101, 200, 300, et cetera. All right, so let me, uh, let me set this up and then we'll kind of interpret it again. All right, so if this is kind of hazy so far, don't sweat it. Uh, we'll set this up and then we'll see what happens here. So, okay, so we want the magnitude of the velocity being greater than 100 meters per second. So um, in other words, so we're gonna have the velocity here is negative 20t plus 140. And we want to know when the absolute value of that is greater than 100 meters per second. right? So the absolute value of that uh, will, will tell us the magnitude of the velocity. So in other words, um, if I'm going negative 10 meters per second this way or 10 meters per second that way, uh, the absolute value of each one of those is equal. The absolute value is 10 meters per second. So that's, that tells us the magnitude. So we kind of get rid of the direction, uh, right? We, um, yeah. All right, so here's, here we go. So the absolute value of negative 20 t plus 140 is greater than 100. So that'll tell us at what points in time the magnitude of the velocity is greater than 100 meters per second. All right, so here's our kind of two rules of thumb. So when it's the absolute value of a is greater than b, we split this up in the, into two inequalities. A is greater than B. All right, so this is this is A. This is B. So A is greater than B, or A is less than negative B, which I kind of said verbally before. So see if see if you can catch this. So A is greater than B. So uh, negative twenty t plus one forty is greater than one hundred. Or uh, a so 
negative 20t plus 140 is less than negative b is less than negative 100. So anything, in other words, anything less than so if it's a it's a velocity of negative 101 meters per second, negative 200 meters per second, that'll count. You know, it's going really fast, but downward, not upward. Um, all right, so now let's just let's just solve each one. Um, start with this guy. Um, I think I'll just switch colors, just because. So we'll just subtract 140. Subtract 140. Uh, so we've got negative 20t is greater than so 100 minus 140 is negative 40, and then we're going to divide both sides by negative 20 to get t by itself. Okay. Uh, so we're dividing on um, both sides of the inequality by a negative number. So we're going to flip the sign around. Okay. So um, negative 20 divided by negative 20. That's one. That's so all we're left with there is t. And then negative 40 divided by negative 20 is, what is that, 2? Um, so, so for this first part, t is less than 2 seconds is, is one possibility. Or, OK, we'll solve the other part of it. Um, so in other words, for the first almost 2 seconds of the launch, the velocity is greater than 100 meters per second. Um, I guess we're kind of ignoring the, the very first part where it's accelerating to that fast, but we're, this is a simplified situation. Um, all right, so let's solve, let's solve the second, second part here. So negative 140. Actually, let me switch colors again. Um, minus 140. So we've got negative 20 t is less than, so 100 minus 140 is minus 240. We're going to divide by negative 20, divide by negative 20. So t, so we're going to flip the sign again, because we divided it or, or multiplied both sides of the equation by a negative number. So negative 240 divided by negative um, 20 is 12 is seconds. So, um, so the complete answer would be t is greater than or is less than two seconds, or sorry, it's kind of sloppy, or uh, t is greater than twelve seconds. So, just on a little timeline here. Um, you know, here's the moment of launch, zero, two seconds, and then um, let's say 12 seconds is here. So the solutions to this are, are when it's less than two seconds, it's going um, 100 meters per second, or greater than 100 meters per second, and then after 12 seconds, it's the magnitude is 100 meters or greater than 100 meters per second. Um, of course, the velocity would be itself would be negative because it's it's going downward. So, um, so in other words, it's something like this where the rocket's going fast, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, and then starts n nose you know nose diving back down, um, something like that. All right. Uh, okay. So similar example here. Um, a certain unmanned research drone has been built to withstand forces with a magnitude of 900 newtons or less. Um, if the force in newtons, the force is measured in newtons, um, is mass times acceleration, and the drone has a mass of 10 kilograms, what is the fastest it can safely speed up or slow down? All right. Um, so yeah, force is mass times acceleration, and like velocity. Force has direction. Um, for example, the downward force of gravity. Um, you know, if there's a force that goes down like that, like gravity, the force opposite to it um, would be positive, right? So say like you're you're on a table, you're sitting on a table. There's a 
downward force of gravity, and then there's the upward force um, of the table pushing uh, against that to counteract that, which means you're not going to fall through the table, right? Okay. So we want to know. So the you know the parameters of this drone are basically it can handle forces with a magnitude of 900 uh, newtons or less. So either you know plus or minus um, uh, 900 newtons or less. So let's let's set up this equation. Let me actually let me get us some room here. Uh, that's not helping. Um, here. Sorry. Hope you know. Just rewind the lesson if you need to get that uh, work. Okay. So um, so the absolute value. Okay. So we have the mass. That's 10 kilograms. So the force is the mass times acceleration. Um, so the absolute value of 10 times uh, let's call it A, because we, we, we want to know the acceleration. What is the fastest it can safely speed up or slow down? So that's the acceleration. Um, so the absolute value of, of the mass times acceleration will be uh, less than or equal to um, 900 newtons. All right. So here's here's our model here, um, a, b. So absolute value of a is less than b. Uh, we're doing less than or equal. Let's let's yeah, that's fine. Let's we're doing less than or equal to. Same model here. Um, so so we can break this into um, ten ten times a is less than or equal to 900 and um, 10 times a is greater than or equal to negative 900 so um, divide by 10. So A is less than or equal to 90 meters per second squared. And um, it's a little overkill to do this problem as an absolute value inequality, but uh, I'm sure you could find a simpler way. Um, is greater than or equal to negative 90 meters per second squared. So uh, if we were to put this on a number line, we've got an acceleration of negative 90 meters per second squared, meaning you're slowing down by 90 meters per second every second. You know, it's pretty fast slowdown. Um, and then we've got positive 90 meters per second squared here. So this is and. Um, so, anything in this range is um, something that the drone can handle. Yeah. All right. That's it. See you later.